Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets rang the bombs bursting in. following broadcast is an official production of the Faulkner Sports Network. Okay. All right. He's alone, eh? There we go. Yay, Backwards what goal. A goal. Nice. Kicks it out, gets demoed right there, but wow. still makes the shot. Oh. I'm aboard the lane train. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> the lane train. The lane train. Ooh. Virginia going hard for the goal. Ooh. Excellent save. Watch this. Here Perfect he goes. Maneuver. Just, he just, just kind of flips over and then gets the demo and knocks in the goal. And oh, just <laughs> Lane with the demo. Him. Lane actually makes the shot here. And then Cameron is just like running interference, takes him out, and then just sort of escorts the ball into the goal. Like, all right, so Faulkner off to a hot start here against the Simpson Storm. Wow. Very pretty goal right there. Oh. And Cameron going straight Go it, for Cameron. the goal. Sploosh. We have a Brazil here, folks. That's it. There it is. Faulkner is the champion of this region. Wow. Excellent. Good evening, everybody, and thank you so much for being with us here for our Rocket League game this evening. Faulkner Esports is going to be taking on Florida Atlantic University, the Owls. They're going to be playing for a playoff spot tonight. If they win, they're guaranteed a spot in. If they lose, could still get in. Just depends on what the other teams do. So we're open hoping for a, for a win tonight. Right, hoping for a win so it doesn't matter. But thank you so much for being with us. I am uh, I've the left. I am Coors. Wow. Uh, having a little bit of residual stuff coming from you. Remember, I did exactly the same thing on Who's Line. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Professional broadcaster, and I still can't talk on camera. So here we are. Welcome in, and thank you so much for being patient with us. I am head coach Caleb Cockwood. And I'm Joshua Chalchi. And we're back for another round of Rocket League coming at you tonight. And it's going to be Eagles versus Owls. So an aerial matchup, which is very appropriate considering we're playing Rocket League. Death from the sky. There you go. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get started right now. We're just coming off of a scrimmage and a win from earlier tonight. So let's go ahead and take a look inside Regitar USA High Res Arena and take a look at our team. So you can see over there on the far left, we've got the captain, Super Dish, Brandon Dishman. In the middle, we have a little bit of a roster change up from earlier tonight. Luke was unable to be here for the second game. So that's Corn Pop. Bad dude. He is a bad dude. Uh, Corn Pop, the uh, coming back from last year's team, was an alt this year. Uh, that's Cole Armstrong. And then over there on the far right, that's Ian Wright. Um, uh, it looks like actually they've already started the game, which is uh, uh, we're about 10 seconds in. So let's go ahead and just go straight to the action. Um, what was a little surprised that they started that early, but um, I guess they started right at eight. So they're ready to get this one under underway. And Looks Hammy... Like Hemi Crackers, uh, unfortunately, with the first score. Um, yeah, so uh, FAU is actually the blue team this time. So uh, they're actually ahead, unfortunately. Faulkner behind. There we go. Um, Still plenty of time to make a comeback. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, It's unfortunate they were able to get such an early goal. And it looks like Superdish setting something up here now. But unfortunately, Liston was able to uh, push that one away. 
Oh, Ooh. and uh, man. Henry Cracker just is coming. What a shot. Yes, sir. I mean, obviously, we didn't want it to go that way, but Liston pushes it up, and Dish is there, but unfortunately, Liston or uh, Hammy Crackers was able to uh, keep his block from going through, just able to redirect the ball just a hair enough to keep it out of Super Dish's reach. Yep. So, obviously, Florida Atlantic, really good team, very talented. Uh, able to get two on Faulkner within a minute. Hopefully they can turn this around quickly. Granted, like I said, since they've got Poland, they're probably not used to playing together as, as much as our regular setup. Uh, Cole is a an actual member of the Rocket League team from last year, but it's been a while since he's played. Ooh, good block. Uh, man, excellent block. Hammy Cracker is going for it, but Zink! comes and pushes the ball out of play makes it impossible like they made a setup for it yep got stuck in the corner Let's hammy's see. gonna do a setup here but Ooh. zinc able to push it away i see if, if the team is able to push it forward a little bit and keep it on their side a little bit yeah i think that's what they're gonna Ooh, have to do good oh. shot and goal unfortunate yeah so cole able to get the ball above gold but zinc unfortunately wasn't in the right position to be able to capitalize on that zinc gonna kick it back over to the orange side and faulkner, it's, just, it's just up in the air right now yeah faulkner was a little bit flustered and having a hard time battling for possession of the ball earlier in the game but you can see that they've settled in a little bit mm -hmm. and they're a little bit more confident and challenging they were just trying to ride it up here and kind of dribble. They got stolen. Yeah, Liston with the steal tries to kick it back towards the Faulkner goal, but Faulkner, having none of it, pushes it back on their side. Zink trying to get the ball set up and get it in front of the goal, but Metra doing a really good job of keeping the ball away from the Faulkner strikers. Looks like they did get pushed back to blue side. Let's see if we can get a good uh, pick from it. Yep. Corn Pop going to try to get possession of the ball back, but unfortunately isn't able to. Super Dish with the save. Unfortunately, Hammy Crackers does get a demolition on Super Dish, I'm pretty sure. Uh, no, that was Zink. It was Zink. It was Zink he took out. Listen, going to... Oh, wow. Ooh, Look at Zink coming off from just out of nowhere. And Super Dish gets demoed. Corn Pop with the save. Wow, excellent defense by the Eagles. Ooh, ooh, and a setup. Ah, oh. another. Yeah, <laughs> corn demolitions are going crazy this round. Yeah, and it's all been against Faulkner. I thought there was a target of assault. <laughs> you could say that, and Super Dish is able to get a shot on goal, but unfortunately, Metra pushes it away. Another shot. Wait, wait. Oh. No, Liston able there. He was there to defend. I didn't see him until the last second. Very fast-paced game tonight. Oh, yeah. We're seeing a lot of ball movement. There's a lot of back and forth. You're not seeing it, like, get caught in the corners a lot. Yeah. Lots of uh, pushing it between sides of the map. And remember, Faulkner Atlantic. Or Faulkner Atlantic. Uh, Faulkner is going up against Florida Atlantic, who is the number one team right now. Ooh. So... Uh, there you can tell they're the number one team for the reason they're they're really good. Oh, yeah I can definitely tell. Oh, play. man. Look at that Zink gets possession just has to beat Metro out oh. for it But unfortunately Mitra is able to just tips it with the edge of his car. Yeah Yeah, just gets like his nose on it and Zink does get a, a demolition on uh, Lantra. Yep Or Liston. Yeah, Liston Kind of mush Mitra and Liston together <laughs> No big deal Oh, Corn Pop tries to go for the defensive, winds up missing it, but I think he might have at least distracted Ooh, super them long dish enough. with a good little feel. Yeah, and they've got eight seconds left. They need to do something really quick if they're going to win this round. Hmm. Looks like Florida Atlanta's. Kind yep, of that's going to be time. it. They okay. weren't they weren't able to get to it in time, so that's going to be it for round one. And uh, unfortunately that's going to uh end that round uh
So Faulkner, of course, this is a best of five match. So Faulkner has a uh, several rounds left to try to win that back, but now they're down by one. So they're going to have to get really cooking in this next round to try to not have to play where they face elimination with only one game. It would be really nice to get this next game so they're not playing with their backs against the wall. Yeah, I feel like they just need to get a little bit warmed up on this little matchup right here because every single player kind of plays a little differently. Yeah. And uh, I think tonight they really got a good shot to win because we've had a little bit of warm-up against a really good team. Mm -hmm. um, and tonight I think we can might be able to see some, uh, some noise in the arena. Yeah, I'm hoping so. All right, let's go ahead and head to the next round. So this is game two. Ooh. Corn Pop gets the first touch. Hammy Cracker is going kind of nuts here. Ooh. Oh, that was almost a good shot. Well, we had uh, Corn Pop, Ham and Crackers, and Nuts all in the same little exchange there. There's a lot of food going on. Oh, yeah. What do you think a Ham and Cracker would taste like, Coach? Uh, I imagine it's just a cracker with ham on it, so pretty good. <laughs> Anything that involves pork, Ooh. I'm usually in favor of. Very close shot from Faulkner tonight. Just yeah, by a hair. That's the thing. Um, granted, Part of it is that Florida Atlantic is doing a really good job of defending, but uh, there were a couple times where, uh, defending or not, Faulkner would have had it if they had just had the trajectory a little Ooh. bit different. Oh! Oh! Wow. Very good save, but also a really good shot from, who was that? Uh, Zinc. Zinc, yep. Yeah. Uh, oh, no. And the Mitra just comes back and kind of like doesn't like you being messed with. <laughs> yeah, so you can see what happened here is they were trying to get def uh, defense set up, but unfortunately they were about a half second too late. Corn Pop and Super Dish were there, but they were driving to the goal as quick as they could and then tried to get set up and didn't have time to get the set up once they got there. Yeah. Ooh. This thing gonna try to set something up for his room is, uh, very good setup. Yeah. You can tell that these guys are the number one just by the way they play. Yeah, so he gets this off the board setup, and Corn Pop does see it happening and tries to mess with Mitra, tries to get either a demo or just push him off target, but unfortunately isn't able to get there on top. Good instincts there because there was nothing he could do to stop that setup. It was more, it made more sense to stop the player, not the ball. Uh, but unfortunately, he wasn't able to get there quite in time to follow through on that plan. Yeah. Mitra gonna steal. Mitra. Wide open goal, but we uh, were able Zink, to save it. Boy, Zinc came out of nowhere on that one. Love really it. nice. Zinc coming back to goal uh, to guard a little bit. Mm -hmm. Corn Pop able to stop that setup. And then Super Dish is gonna try to push it over into Owl's territory. Ooh, good setup here. No one's there though. Unfortunately. No, unfortunately, Corn Pop was out of boost and thought that it was not Aww. a good idea to go for it there, which he was probably right, unfortunately. Uh, and then that leads, of course, to a Florida Atlantic score here. Just didn't have anybody guarding back post there. Yeah, I feel like we kind of get to an aggressive state and then we just leave the goal open and then aren't able to make it. Import. Yeah, it really is. Mitra with a, a pass to Liston, looks like. Mm-hmm. Amy Cracker's trying to get back to the goal. Gets blocked by Super Dish. Uh-huh. Super Dish gonna shoot it out to corner. Uh-oh. Come on, Dish. Oh, Zink has the ball and a lot of open field, but unfortunately gets sideswiped. Ooh, too close for comfort. Corn Pop pushes it out. Liston is able to take possession again. Amy Cracker is actually with a miss there. And Super Dish is going to try to push that ball out to center, but unfortunately has Ooh. two defenders right there. Hammy Cracker comes in and picks up the slack for his teammates. Zink kind of gets it over the opposing team. Let's see if he's able to get a score. Ah. Uh. So unfortunately, I think what happened is they were worried about being too aggressive and leaving their goal open too often. And because of that, both of them were back and weren't able to support Dish in that rotation. Yeah. Nature with a pass. 
Oh, I mean, sorry, a setup to uh, whoever it was over there. Oh, Super Dish and does Super get Dish demoed. gets demoed. Oh. Yeah, had something going there, but with the demo, they're not. They basically have to sink back into defense mode. Look out! Oh, Liston actually misses and actually goes for the demo when probably could have got a goal there if they if they had gone for the shot. Ooh. Zink's kind of going crazy over here. He's trying to get all these scores, but none of them are really seeming to connect, unfortunately. Yeah, or if they do connect, unfortunately, there's uh, a defender and Hammy Cracker is able to get absolute it. Absolute night, too. Oh, yeah. Watch this. So, Zink, I don't think, can see Hammy Cracker right there. Or if he could, probably not with enough time to react. And then uh, Florida Atlantic winds up getting the goal. Yep. So. Uh, this round significantly more one-sided. I don't know if it's just the Florida Atlantic has seen something in their defense that they're able to exploit or what, but... Yeah. All in all, I think the, the, the players are pretty well, well matched. It's just the situational um, advantages that kind of come up. That's kind of killing us a little bit. Yeah, and really good teams like Florida Atlantic, they, they tend to make situations. Like, they, they there's a joke about in Rocket League making your own luck. Uh, there's some truth to it, though. You try to sit, you put yourself in situations where you're more likely to get a lucky or a favorable bounce. Yeah. Uh, Super Dish actually goes for a shot there, but Hammy Crackers is able to spot it early on and stop it. This uh, team that we're playing against tonight is kind of all about those demolitions. You could just tell because we just got demolitions twice, like yeah. right within like five seconds. Yeah, super aggressive team. Corn Pop with the big save. Uh, and then Super Dish is demoed. And Zinc gets the demo on Hammy. Kind of his revenge. Ooh. So Super Dish winds up getting stalled out there. Mitra trying to go for a, a last goal to try to put the nail in the coffin, but it looks like this one's going to wind up ending. Yeah, that ball's going to hit the ground. Yep. Uh, unfortunate. Yeah, really unfortunate because uh, if the that had been regulation, the ball would have actually been open and we would have had an easy goal there, but uh, forward to nothing, not enough time to actually capitalize on that. I will mention before we move on, we do need to talk about our sponsor for this game, which is, of course, Shane's Rib Shack. We were talking about them a little bit earlier tonight. Now, one of the best things that, that you need to know about Shane's Rib Shack is uh, they're known for their ribs, but they've got plenty besides ribs. Uh, and uh, besides their ribs, they're also known for their sides. They've got mac and cheese. They've got their green beans. So be sure to download the Shane's app and uh, go ahead and uh, do that so that you get a free barbecue sandwich for sh signing up. Uh, check them out there right next to campus, just two miles down the road. Let's get back into the action. It looks like the game has already started. So, oh, shoot. Uh, well, we're gonna get the replay of it even though we didn't see it live. Uh, Hammy Crackers is able to get the goal here. And they're off again. Yep. Going so off with a with a setup in the midfield. Hammer Crackers takes it. Oh, and Zink going to block it. And able Ooh. to use the corner to shoot it out towards midfield and a little bit past it actually. Zink's almost got it back too. Yep. Oh. Uh oh. That doesn't oh. look good. Oh, and Hammer Crackers misses the goal. Mitra. Demolition super dish though. Yep. Very good. Uh, Zink um, is actually able to beat his man out. Uh, Corn Pop is able to stop the ball too. Whoo, man! How we got out of that? There's with so many demolitions going on. <laughs> how we got out of that without them scoring a goal? That ball stayed in front of the goal for a, a, an exorbitantly long time, and the Faulkner defense was able to hold firm. Great job by them. Oh. Whoa! Ooh, very good save by Super Dish. But yep. It just instantly gets uh, punished for it too with the, with the demo. Yeah, this team being hyper aggressive here and Hammy Crackers is able to win Yep. Uh, that particular possession battle. And you can see Corn Pop tries to come up behind him to stop it, but uh, not much that they could do. Corn Pop wasn't able to get there even with boost. You can tell that Hammy Crackers has a really good sense of uh, ball control because he's able to dribble, air dribble it like as much as he wants to and just kind of like drag the ball right in. Yeah, not only does he have that though. Oh, uh, Mitra, we get three dem demolitions in the span of 10 seconds. Four. 
This is one brutal team. Really is. Um, although one of the demolitions was us, so yeah. Uh, basically, we only had two people on the field. <laughs> I think for a split second, we actually had only had one. Ooh, man, Hammycrackers with the solid defense there. Form Pop going to try to push the ball at least in that direction. Mitra is able to take out a second man back, and now there's nobody guarding the goal. I take that back. Super Dish is back in position. Going to push the ball away. Oh, this is going with the cheap shots with these demos. I mean, to their credit, though, it is working. Yeah, it is, but nasty way to win a game. Yeah, not the way you want to. Zink does score, though. Yep. Very good job. Watch this. Here he goes. Super Dish is able to push it there. And then Mitra just completely misses it. <laughs> and Hammy Crackers winds up own goaling. I can't tell. I haven't seen an owl get beat that bad since Harry Potter 7. <laughs> <laughs> Hammy Crackers does seem to know what he's doing, but I think he just got a little bit too knocked around right there. Well, no, I think he was actually going for a defensive play, but he got to it late. Yeah. I think that's what happened. Like, if he had had time, he would have gotten Ooh, it. Zink oh, and Zink gets again. another one. We are tied. What there you go, Zink. Go crazy. Faulkner comeback right here. Whoa. Mounting a comeback with the D and D dice. Craziness. And Come on, Eagles. We do take it first. Well, Hammy Crackers has actually got the first touch there. Oh, I, I keep on forgetting we're not blue. <laughs> it does seem wrong, doesn't it? It does. It well, really it's. Does. To be fair, Florida Atlantic's colors are extremely similar to ours. Yeah. There you go. There's another demolition. What a surprise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it happens a lot. I actually wonder if that's what wound up getting them in the last round, though, because they got so focused on uh, demolitions that they forgot to, you know, actually defend the goal. Yeah. Hammy Crackers with another dribble. And, get and Super taken. Dish beating him out in the air. We're the better birds. <laughs> Super Dish trying to go for a, a setup, but unable to benefit. Oh, oh man. I really, with a snipe. I really thought it was going to pop out. So watch the angle of this ball. He's actually past half court when this happens and it just hit it exactly the right angle that, that it bounced off of post spot. but was in the corner so it couldn't pop up so really good shot by the owls Faulkner has to answer here yeah and they do do a lot of demolitions just <laughs> just yep. as a little uh get off me kind of thing yep Eagle or the Eagles facing elimination here. They have to do something here within the next minute of gameplay to be able to claw their way back into this game. And if they win this one, uh -oh, they could definitely goal. Whoa. Yeah. What is happening right here? Oh no, the demo. Oh, oh, that was just that was just disrespectful. That was hard to keep up with. So what happens here is Corn Pop's coming out. You're going to see a demo on Super Dish. And then with that demo that Mitra got, Hammy Crackers was able to zip right in and get the goal. It is a lot easier to get a goal when you take out the defender. You know, I don't play a lot of this game, but there's not, there's never this many demos, is there? This is the most demos I've ever seen per game. Ooh. I've never seen this many demos in a single game. Quite crazy. Ooh. Rise, I thought we were going for a comeback. They just started doing all this demolition stuff. Yeah. Crazy. And they were too, but. Uh, oh, wait. Wow. So oh, close. Hammy going to push it out. And going to go for a goal here. Corn Pop tries to deflect it, but unfortunately isn't able to do so. Not able to get a good angle. And this is why those goals from up high are just so hard to defend against. Like, Corn Pop could see it, but he couldn't 
know for sure what angle it was going to come down on. Yeah. And because of that, not able to stop it. Ooh, another good spot on goal, but unfortunately not able to get a good connect. Yeah, unfortunately the setup wasn't there. Or the setup was there, but the uh, there was nobody else there to finish the job. And with it touching the ground, that is going to be it for our game tonight. Uh, unfortunately, Faulkner taking a 3-0 loss to the number one ranked Florida Atlantic Owls. Uh, before we do go, we're going to go ahead and uh, tell you, talk to you a little bit more about Shane's Rib Shack since we kind of had to abbreviate that one. They were moving in and out of the matches pretty quickly. So oh, yeah. uh, one of the things I wanted to let you know about is that if you do download the Shane's Rib Shack app, you do earn points. So you can actually go there, purchase, get either lunch or dinner, and anything you buy there count towards your points, and then you can use those to cash them in to get free rewards and exclusive offers. Uh, you also get all the latest news about any new items, which, you know, you think a barbecue place, how many can things can they actually have on the menu? Uh, chains actually have a pretty good size menu. Uh, they've got everything from the Shaniac burger to the mac and cheese. Um, they got plenty of different options there. So be sure to check that out. Go ahead and download the app right now and get a free sandwich for doing so. You can go right to Shane's Rib Shack. And one of the things that I like about it is, you know, between games, sometimes I don't have a ton of time to eat. Yeah. So I can go ahead and open up the Shane's app. And because it's only two miles from campus right down there on Atlanta Highway, uh, I can just go ahead, pull up the app, type in whatever I want to get, whether it's the Shaniac burger, whether it's the uh, barbecue loaded baked potato. Uh, I can order it and then I can head down there and it, the food's ready when I get there. I just walk in, pick up my order, walk right out. Like, that sounds pretty good to me. Oh, it's awesome. It's so convenient, and the food is always top-notch, so be sure to download the Shane's Rib Shack, uh, Ri Rib Shack app. And <laughs> Say that two times fast. <laughs> Look, I'm out of breath. I've already done one game today. I'm about to have to do another one, so uh, it's just it's wearing me down a little bit. But you know what refills me is some of the sweet tea from Shane's Rib Shack. So <laughs> that helps get the energy back up. They do have really good sweet tea. That would do uh, it. So be sure to download the Shane's Rib Shack app. And you can check that out and tell them that we sent you. We certainly would appreciate it. So that was it for tonight's program. What we're going to do is we're going to take a quick break here and we're going to be back with the post game show here in just a minute. Tomorrow's teachers, ministers, and scientists guiding future business leaders to positively impact our global economy, teaching healthcare professionals to improve patient outcomes, coaching athletes to give their best on and off the field, men and women learning how to succeed wherever their dreams take them. That's Faulkner University. With over 70 undergraduate and graduate degree programs, you'll find your calling all in a Christian learning environment. Faulkner University. Discover more at faulkner.edu. And we're back. Welcome in to the post game show for Faulkner Rocket League. Unfortunately, coming off of a loss against the Florida Atlantic Owls uh, tonight, unfortunately not able to get the win, wound up falling 3 0. So we're here with Corn Pop, Cole Armstrong, who uh, I believe you've done an interview this year, but only for the Counter Strike team. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> right. So he's also the captain of the CS, uh, CS2 team now. Yep. Uh, but he was playing tonight, pinch hitting for Luke. And uh, got to say, tough game, very good team on the other side. But uh, one of the things that had to be a little bit frustrating is we were able to battle back there in that final game. Zinc was able to score a couple of goals, and we were tied up 2-2 uh, 
with really not that much time left in the no. third round, but then after that, they just kind of pulled away and we were never able to recover. So, uh, what was what was the reason that they were able to do that on us? Like, what happened there? Uh, they got a jump start. Honestly, they uh, just came uh, full offense right away. Um, they planned their uh, kickoffs pretty well, um, and they just overcommitted a bunch of times. Mm -hmm. And uh, their coordination was uh, spot on on the uh, first round. But we slowly started to read plays. I uh, tried to just uh, throw a wrench in their offense as much as we could, which started to work. And as you can guess, second match, they went right. and demo had found deep that. <laughs> Yeah, that was uh, one thing that was kind of unfortunate is that we noticed a lot. Um, at times, it uh, it almost seemed like they were more interested in getting the demos than actually playing, which um, yeah. is, I mean, obviously allowed, but it is kind of frustrating. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, it was just they kind of saw it as like um, just kind of like a side thing to do. Um, I like playing around. It's kind of frustrating, but, um, you know, I guess when you get to that top, it just you do that, I guess. I don't think so. I wouldn't do that, but um, yeah. Yeah, hyper aggressive team tonight. Um, unfortunately, uh, not able to to win. Uh, uh, and it seemed like one of the things that we were having a little bit of trouble with uh, was their aerial game. Was there were times where we actually got some really good plays. Like I remember uh, Super Dish specifically played one off the ceiling that he was able to uh, stop the aerial assault in one, and that you guys were able to get a couple of really cool looking steals. But overall, it seemed like they were beating us out in the air. Yeah, usually uh, those kind of air tactics aren't too hard to deal with because there's so many of them that it's, they're all the same, and all you have to do is at least make the guy uh, have to do something else when you go up in the air. Um, they're not too bad, but when you have two other guys hitting your car or you're trying to dodge somebody twice, uh, it gets a lot tougher trying to uh, mm -hmm. defend those kind of shots. Um, so, yeah, it just got a lot tougher when they caught on and just did not let up on those demos. Well, one thing that I did want to bring up too, though, is despite the fact that they wound up winning three nothing, uh, you guys had some excellent defensive plays. You yeah, in particular, exactly, uh, um, and some of them like really, really close saves that you were able to get at the last second. So, is that something that it kind of feels like you just it's a bicycle? You never forget how to do it because I mean, you haven't practiced with the team in a while. No, I've not done that in a while. Um, it, yeah, like you said, it just comes natural. Uh, just that constant repetition of doing it over and over again you slowly mm -hmm. just don't really have to practice it you obviously need to practice uh reaction time but other than that yeah you just kind of get used to it and it's just uh in the back of your head gotcha well um i tell you what why don't we we'll do this live on the air hopefully uh there's at least some word uh so it's 30 minutes past eight o'clock which means some of the results of the other games might very well be in yeah. So since we're looking at a potential playoff spot, let's see where the rankings are and if the other games have completed. Uh, it looks like um, our score has been recorded, but I think the only other team that has has been Western and uh, Bowling Green. So let's see. It mostly comes up to the Jags, who they have not... Oh, I see what the deal is. Uh, they have a game scheduled for tomorrow, not tonight, which means they'll be playing Alabama, which we played earlier this year. So, uh, unfortunately, guys, we will not know for a fact whether or not we'll make the playoffs until that game has been con concluded. However, as the standings are right this second, the other two teams that we needed to lose... Uh, actually have lost so it really all depends on whether or not number three alabama can beat number six uh iup ui which i don't even remember what that acronym stands for i think it's uh illinois university purdue university at indianapolis jaguars i think that's it yeah that's a good shot <laughs> but <laughs> but you you guys can fact check me on it so but here's the thing. They're playing number three, Alabama, which means they're very likely to lose. Yeah. Which means, barring something really freaky happening, Faulkner will make the playoffs. Uh, but we will, of course, report that as soon as we know what the results are from that game tomorrow. Uh, probably won't. I don't know if we'll actually be able to do that live on the stream, but we will do. If we can't do it there, we'll definitely do it right. uh, at social media. So thanks so much for being with us here, Cole. We yeah. appreciate it.
Uh, before we let you go, did want to let you know that we do have a League of Legends game coming up tonight. That's going to be at 9 p.m. So in about 30 minutes, we'll be back on the air again with another game for League of Legends. Uh, after that, um, tomorrow we do have a uh, game. Uh, let's see, we've got Overwatch 2 coming up tomorrow night as well, and that's going to be at 6 p.m., uh, so be sure to tune in for that as well. We'll be, I believe, going up against Arkansas. So we'll be nice. playing them, and then uh, also wanted to give you a quick reminder that Friday is our big Ghouls and Ghosts live stream featuring Counter-Strike 2. Yeah. <laughs> so that's actually how we'll kick off that live stream is nice. with a Counter-Strike 2 game, so you guys will be prominently featured in that stream. Cool. Uh, so that's what is on the docket for this week. And like I said, we've got another League of Legends game coming up at 9, so be sure to stick with us for that as well. Uh, we're just going to take a quick break here, and then we'll be back on the air in about 30 minutes. Uh, special thanks to our broadcast team tonight, Liz Anderson, for doing two games back-to-back -back and handling that like a pro. Uh, even though we threw her a whole bunch of curveballs tonight, she keeps knocking them out of the park. Uh, special thanks to my broadcast partner, Josh Chauchi, doing a fantastic job commentating a game he's never commented on before. Uh, but still did a great job nice. of, of keeping uh, everything lighthearted, but giving some insight into the game as well. Uh, of course, Cole Anderson volunteering to come in and pinch hit it tonight and also do the interview. Uh, of course, I'm Caleb Calkwit, your head coach. One last time from Regitar USA High Res Arena. The final score tonight, Florida Atlantic 3, Faulkner 0. But it looks like Faulkner is going to still secure a playoff spot, which is really good. So that's going to be it for us this evening. Until that next game at 9 p.m., stay the course, friends. The preceding broadcast was an official presentation of Faulkner University. It may not be redistributed without the express written consent of the Faulkner University Athletic Department. Regitar USA High Res Arena is sponsored by Regitar USA. The national anthem was performed by the Faulkner University Chorus. If you would like to learn more about the Faulkner Esports program, visit our official website at FaulknerEagles.com or follow us on Discord, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram for all the latest news and events. Thank you for watching, and soar Eagles!